you know, I count the Bible says in Revelation to count the number of the beast. And then it said his number's 666. And so they look at that symbol. So a lot of these symbols about 666, I started studying it. I studied it for five years to see what it meant, you know. And then God revealed the blood of his cross is symbolized everywhere. So the devil wants to uh, put his number out front, man, mankind. The king of Tyre, the king of Tyre, the king of Tyre, the king of the flesh, wouldn't have a king except for the... I mean, wouldn't have people under him. He wouldn't exist. There wouldn't be a king of Tyre except for the people who fell into sin, which is everybody. So the king of Tyre, king of Tyre, Where the rubber meets the road has a number six six six. It's really easy, people. <coughs> it's really easy. The flesh mind, the old Adamic nature, Adam, the old Adam, is the flesh mind. The world, the flesh, pro life. Me, 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 me. It's all about me, you know. A dog eat dog world. A dog eat dog world. It's all about me. Me, 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 me. That's why on the Matrix, Agent Smith said, it's me. It's me too. That's why when you talk to a witch, they'll say, it's me too. They're part of the hive. The Me Too movement. Hive. They just, they just, everybody else is on the bandwagon. They jump on it. It's a hive. Why do you think on the Star Trek they had the Queen Bee? Uh, I don't remember the name, the name of it. But they would call uh, Picard, she called Picard Locutus or something like that. I forget her name. But it was a machine. But she had merged her body with the machine. And she was trying to t make the the machine look sexy to bring Picard, Picard in to be one with the hive, right? And the hive, the cube, the Borg was a cube. A six, 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 six-sided cube, right? So this is a cube system. And as you unfold the cube, you see the cross. And so this is really easy, but it takes a while to see it. You'd have to really write it on paper, compare it, meditate on it for years, and eventually it'll start to reveal itself. The, when, you, when you fold up the cross, you get a cube. When you look at your front door, there's a cross. You go out the, cro out the door through the cross. When you look out the window, there's a cross member. And on the screens, there's little cross members. Because you have, in order to get out of the cube, you gotta go through the cross. To escape the cube, you gotta take up your cross. Go through the cross. The cube mind, the flesh mind. 666, six, six. the number six is man's number. Six foot under to the grave. One cubit. Cubit. C U B I T. One cubit. The hand width. One cubit. The measure of man. Six, six, six. Man is trying to be the measurement of all things. Man is trying to worship himself. Man is trying to be his own God. Man is trying to make machine man. Man is trying to upload his conscience. Man is trying to live with, forever without God. And he can't do it in the natural. So he's trying to tie himself to a computer, a machine. That's the whole goal, people. And it's, it's, our, it's already... All you have to do is watch Doctor Who series and everything is revealed in Doctor Who. The machine man.
the Borg, the high Star Trek reveals it, reboot cartoon reveals it, Doctor Who reveals it, every TV show is telling you the story. There's the reason it tells you because they can't, mankind cannot think outside of the prophecy of Revelation. Man is on his, man is, mankind in the flesh is birthing into the hive. Everybody's going to be tied to the, uh, the hive, the, uh, the meta, the metaverse. Everybody's going to be tied in. It's obvious what's going on. It's in the futures. The future is so clear. You can see it. The book of Revelation tells you, but you can actually see it happening right now. It's revealed. It's actually happening now. Everything that's, everything that you see in Genesis 3 and Revelation is happening now. The cube, the hive, the devil, the demons, the, the hive is are happening now. They, they, they might not be able to uh, talk directly, but they can talk to each other through demons. Same demon can possess two or three people at one time. Or really fast. I don't know if they can possess them at the exact same time, but it'd be pretty fast. They can take them captive at will. So this person's going to say something, and this person's going to say the same thing, and this person's going to say the same thing, and it seems like it's instant because it's a demon. Uh, I promise you, the hive is real. And it's always been here. When Adam and Eve fell, that's when it started. See, the devil said, Hath God said he wanted to be a king? He wanted to be like God. So he had to get mankind to fall, to worship themselves, so he could be the king of mankind in the flesh. But then there's a spiritual side of man that get they get born again. There's a fake spirit. There's a fake a fake spiritual birth, which the Luciferian system. Everything has a, a false version, a type and an anti-type. Everything has an anti-type. When you think about the body of Christ, there's an anti-type. What is it? The hive. The Borg. Cube. Hive. When I was a kid, I saw this. I had this uh, recurring nightmare. I said, "There, we got to stop. I can actually see the cube coming through. I said, we got to stop the cube. And the only thing I could relate it to is what I knew because when I was a kid, we had one of them little hockey games. And I said, the cube cannot get through the through the goal. We all would die. The cube cannot win. So we're fighting against the cube system. The corporate cube, the government cube, the medical cube, the educational cube. It's all man-centered instead of God-centered. Mankind trying to be his own God. The future is right in front of you and the past is right in front of you. It's all happening now. Now, it will culminate more and more. It will culminate to its optimal point. It will coalesce and culminate just like the second coming of Christ is going to culminate the appearance of Christ is going to happen when I was a kid I lived in that house I lived in these apartments and the dream I'm telling you about it was down here in this in this house The wall, the where the couch was that I'd had that nightmare. I'm working on that wall now, putting some some wood, decorating that wall. But I remember as a child that that was 
the weirdest dream. I don't know why I even remember it. Because the only thing I can figure is the stuff that happen, happens when you're a kid kind of tells you the future of your when you're older, you know? promise you the dream I had when I was whatever seven eight years old whatever it was the nightmare I'm actually seeing it play out in society and I'm actually trying to resist the cube think about it the very dream I had at seven is what I'm viewing right here in front of me everybody's being pushed into the to the hive, the 666 cube, and I'm trying to block it with the truth to wake people up that the old Adamic nature is the flesh mind. You must be born again and get spirit filled to escape the hive. Because the hive, the hive is, uh, it never stops. You will, resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. The only way you won't is through Jesus. That's the only way you won't be assimilated through Christ. So that's the real world, people, and it's happening now. It's happening everywhere all the time.